In this video, we will try to understand how to configure multiple endpoints in WCF. Now, do you know what is WCF endpoint? If no, then please go through this video created in WCF questions and answers video series which will answer what are endpoints, address, contacts and bindings. Click on new project, select WCF, WCF service application, let's put a nice name, let's call it multiple endpoint sample, click on OK. So here we are. Let's first delete these unnecessary files which are created by default. Okay. Now let's create a new item from W. Let's select this web and WCF service and call it employee service. Pretty name right press enter okay here we are now what's next let's remove this do work function and let's put a meaningful function called get employee name next let's move to our service class and let's implement this i implement i employee interface now we no more require this do work function in this get employee function what we will do is we will perform some database operation and return employee name cool next it's time to create some endpoints let's move to our web config file and in the service model section let's create endpoint in services we need service and now we need name of our service that is a multiple employee sample dot employee service now let's create endpoint for that we need address we need binding and we need contract we need contract let's put a address as basic one binding will be basic http binding and contract will be multiple endpoint sample dot i employee service which is name of our interface now it's time for some testing and for that we need two things first url of our service second client and for url what we can do is right click on the our service and say browse with say browse and just copy the url and close this window next for client right click your solution say add new project select console application and name it as m e test multiple endpoint test and say ok now right click your console application say add service reference paste the url and say ok it creates proxy object of our service now if you check the app config file we can see client endpoint is also get created here which will let us connect to service endpoint now let's do some coding for that first let's import namespace of our service that is me test one dot service reference next let's create object of our employee service client e equal to new employee service client say console dot write line e dot get employee name say fi sorry what we have to do is we have to set this project as startup project and say control fi So here we are, we have successfully created our service with single endpoint. Now it's time for our second endpoint. Let's say tomorrow second client will be introduced for our service who demands for DML operations related to employee. Like insert employee, update employee, delete employee, etc. Now what? 
if we touch our existing contract that is i employee service it will also affect our existing client so the ultimate solution will be multiple endpoint for that what we have to do is what we are supposed to do is right click our wcf service add new item and in code we have to select interface and we will call it idml employee service next attach a attribute called service contract and for that we need to import a interface sorry a namespace called this one next we need a method called string insert employee and we have to attach attribute called operation contract now next step is implementing this interface for that let's move to our employee service class and let's implement this interface and let's add body to this method in this method what we will do is we will perform a database operation we will insert an employee and finally we will return a success method that is employee inserted next let's go to web config and let's create one more endpoint which will expose our second interface or second contract that is idml employee service for that let's copy this endpoint and let's paste but this endpoint will expose idml employee service next it's time to create our second client for that right click the solution add new project console application call it me test 2 say ok build or service right click the new client project add service reference select the same url say ok there is some error let's see what is that error if you expand this you can see the contract name multiple endpoint i dml employee service could not found there might be some typo error let's go and check it let's go to employee open this interface just copy the name of the interface and let's put it here and let's build this project again now say right click add service reference and select the same service say ok so here it is it created it creates proxy object of our service now if you check the app config file you can see we have two client endpoints here one exposing employee service second exposing dml employee service now let's move to program.cs and let's do some coding for that first we need to import namespace using metest2.servicereference1 now let's create object of our employee service client e equal to new employee service client say console.write line e dot get employee name next let's create object of our dml employee service client d equal to new dml employee service client d dot dot insert employee and put it inside console dot write line say console dot read key say f5 so here it is we get Sukesh Marla because of this service call and employee inserted because of this service call now let's do something else what we will do is let's run this both the clients at the same time for that let's say debug start new instance as well as let's right click this and say debug start new instance now let me put this client here 
and my first client here oh great my both the clients are working perfectly fine right this client is using my previous endpoint and this client is using my previous endpoint as well as my new endpoint now this is great right now i don't know whether you have noticed or not but we never change our address of two endpoints basic one both endpoints have same address what it means it means we can expose multiple contracts via same address via single address isn't it cool it is now let's complicate it now let's say our organization demands that our dml operation should be secured that means we have to implement wcf security that means this basic http binding will not be working anymore we need something else we need ws http binding so we changed it so let's build the service and in our second client say update service reference it will throw an error it, it says binding instance has already been associated to listen uri what it what it means it means we have to change the address that means we can expose multiple contracts via single address till our binding is same as soon as our binding get changed we have to change the address as well now we have changed our address so we can build this and also we can update service reference so it's done now there is no there is no need to change anything in our client code we just have to say add debug start new instance and we will get the output so here we complete our demo of multiple endpoints using wcf i hope all of you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any kind of queries you can always write to us and we will definitely get back to you Thank you very much. Have a nice day.